We're turning to sport now into a question, what happens after the famous victories? I won't tell you who it was, but I was once talking to an All Black great who was about to retire, and he said, I'm not sure what to do other than this. Think about it, in rugby and athletics and swimming and netball and skiing and cricket and anything in which people compete to be the best, even the best aren't the best forever. And we don't talk about what happens after the top nearly as much as we talk about getting there, but that's part of what Mulitalo Filippo Levi does in this book out today, Tackle Your Success, former Manu Samoa captain, a former Highlander, 60 plus games for the Highlanders, uh, Otago and Tasman player, about 150 first half class games in New Zealand all up, Filippo, uh, former rugby pro in the UK and Japan. This is his guide to dealing with uh, what, me, what may be anyone's biggest career challenge, including this business, right? Change. Uh, Manuia Litao, it's so nice to have you. Uh, thank you, Fafatai Talilava. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Fafatai uh, Talilava. Um, yeah, thank you for those kind words, uh, John. Uh, and also, yeah, it's great that you could read the book and, uh, and see what I've wrote, written about. Uh, it is a... It is a book on, on my, my personal journey. Uh, it's something that's personal when, when you're in the bubble for 13 years and when it's popped, you know, and you're by yourself, you, you got you to sink or swim. Can I ask you to, can I ask you to read a, a little passage to us? I think, I'll tell you why I'm asking you to do this. It's unusual to ask someone to read from their book, <laughs> but it just vividly puts you there, the experience of what it's like to be a pro sports yeah. person, right? Yeah, so this is chapter four, so uh, attitude. So this is a title, Optimistic. So. It reads, you know it's coming, but you do not know when. The agent is ringing around to all the sports club heroes saying no. Some are offering below market con value, value contracts and others are saying not yet. You and your family are in a holding pattern, a bit like planes hovering around our airports waiting to land. So there you are. You've given your life to this game. You've become really good at it. You've captained your country. You've played super rugby. You've played rugby around the world. And then suddenly your agent's making calls and people aren't taking them or people are saying, oh, yeah, we'll give you, you know, way, worth, way less than you're worth. And, and in part, you talk about how to deal with that. And I love your attitude towards it. And one of the things you say about it, what's it? It's a beautiful atamai. What's that, Filippo? So Atamai is something that my mum, you know, as we we're young, growing up in church and, uh, you know, in Samoan cultures, you know, you know, you have to look the part, you have to smile, you know, if you're a bit grumpy in the morning, but mum was like, smile, Atamai, Atamai. So I've taken that into, you know, into sports, into this world of, of, of rugby. And, um, you know, and sometimes in, in, a, in a game when it's really, really, really tough, you know, it's, it's you know, under, under, under a lot of pressure, you know, it's just remember those, those small moments of Atamai, just smile, smile in the moment. And I guess with this whole transitioning and this changing careers, it is about smiling through that the storms in life and, and going through personally through that change. It was tough mentally and, and my whole well-being was, was shocked to the core. Um, you know, there was a, a research uh, through New Zealand Play Association, they did, they studied 123 um, professional players, 47% of the former blacks. And uh, the biggest statistics showed that 60% uh, of them, it took six or months longer to gain control. And when I looked at that, I thought, my goodness me, I'm, I'm part of that, that, that group, you know, I, I want to gain control. Um, you know, it was, and, and by doing it, I had to, you know, reach out and ask because I knew I wasn't, you know, it was same to, same as sport, there was, there's a process, I need to find the process, there's a storm here, but I need to step out. Mm. There's so much I want to ask you, and, and, I, and I want to come forward, and I think everyone can take something from this, I just want to look down, if you're watching this, uh, stay with us for about a minute more, because I'm going to talk to Filippo about having goals, mm -hmm. because it's so much easier to get somewhere if you know where you want to go, right? So I Definitely. want to talk to you about, but I, but I also want to talk to you about captaincy and leadership and atamai smiling <laughs> when the odds are incredibly against you, and I want to use that example of facing the huck right so you're captaining Manu Samoa you're doing the Sivatao which is the Manu Samoa equivalent of the Haka and you've got so the All Blacks are just full strength all professional players all contracted to New Zealand rugby all in the country and available you're captaining a team which 90% of Manu Samoa's professional players are not available so you know you've actually got amateurs in your team boys out of club rugby in Samoa you're playing the best team in the world what do you say to them It was tough. I was in Japan and they told me to come to play the All Blacks. It was, it was out of the, the World Rugby or the International Rugby uh, window. World window. Yeah. So the guys, our professional players were stuck in Europe and uh, in Japan. I was in Japan, but my club it pretty much allowed me to go because I actually, you know, it was, it was, it was quite risky because I could have lost my contract. Um, but actually it's going... Disgrace, wasn't it? Playing you for your country, you lose your contract. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, the odds are so against you. It is, it is. And then going there and seeing guys I've never met before, 
uh, guys from Samoa and the, uh, guys who are playing club rugby around New Zealand. And then, so what do you say to them? And I, I looked at Samuel Satiti was in the, was in the group, a couple, couple of four, former captains. Yeah. And it was hard because we we're playing against the All Blacks. And I was happy. The positive thing that was that Richie McCall wasn't playing. And my former, we went to school together, so he wasn't playing. But it didn't matter because they had Rodney Soyalo was playing. Uh, you know, they, um, you know, they had all these other guys. You know, it was just oh my goodness. And two weeks prior, they put 50 points on the Springboks. So here's us staring at the barrel, looking oh my goodness. And it's just, I guess, that's a May. Being, being, you know, being brave. You got to put it, put on that brave face. But deep within, you're, oh, so you're, you're trying to swim. You're trying, to, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, be so. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, you know, I love your company, and this is absolutely fantastic. We, we, we're getting the wrap because we've jammed mm. the program full of kiwi, uh, no kiwis, kiwis hatching this morning. But for Lipo, <laughs> how important is it to have a goal? And and we're not talking about Zoe Sadowski Senate having a goal to be an mm. Olympic champion and achieving it. We're just talking about ordinary little mm. goals, knowing where you're heading. Final point to our audience: How important how important is it that you know where you want to go? Mm. It's so important. And I think, um, you know, have that goal, uh, you know, look ahead, 10 years ahead, where you want to be. But, in, you, know, look, we, we, you know, because you'll be a different person from now till then. But in going there, you need to have these small steps, these incremental steps. And in the book I've, I've written about these field of goals, rugby goals, uh, and to take those steps by having people who are there to, you know, to actually support you. Uh, and having these smart goals, which I mentioned, which is very common, and, and actually guiding you through those steps. Because you are not by yourself, you know, there, there is a process. Filippo Levi, Fafatai Tali Lava, uh, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for everything you've done for rugby. We should also say that Filippo has a master's in Indigenous Studies. Yes, yes. So this is a man who spent a great deal of time thinking about how he and we can all be better. Really lovely to have you in here. Thanks, Filippo. Thank you. And congratulations on your book. Right, cheers, man. Thank, thank you. you. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.